Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Planning for Reality. Thank you for clicking on this video and joining me in my second cash stuffing for the month of January in the new year 2023. How exciting. I want to thank all of those that have been subscribing, liking, commenting. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. It is absolutely free and that way you can follow in my journey and uh, watch me using the cash envelope system along with the budget by paycheck method to secure my household financial um of like secure have some financial security and um, stability in our finances and get out of some debt so i've previously filmed and uploaded our annual budget which you can go and check that out if you haven't already done so and also my uh plan to pay off some debt this year not all of it but some of it so to jump into the video today, I'm going to get started by working on my coins challenge. Now this is a new printed uh, sheet. It's the exact same challenge um, sheet that I've got. I'm just going to fix the focus of the camera, um, which I created on an Excel document. It was inspired by the debt debacle. Uh, and I love this challenge because anyone can do it um, and I started it just at the end of August and I can guess that I've already probably got over a hundred dollars in savings here I'm planning and hoping to be able to finish this by the end of this year uh, hopefully sooner but <clears throat> the goal is to the end of the year and I've taken out my coins from my wallet from the last week's spending I have no notes left um, but I've got a lot of coins. So let's see what we've got and um, see where we can get. So I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27. 28, 28, 50, 28, 70, 80, 90, 29, 10, 20, and 30. So $29.30 to go into our big coins box. And I'll just put that on the calculator here. And the reason why I changed or printed a new one and just... Uh, copied the highlighted <clears throat> figures is because I accidentally spilt coffee on the other one. So um, at least this way we can stick to one color going forward and make it look a little bit prettier. So the next number that we can highlight is $9.15 and then we will go from that to $9.10. Then we'll go to $9.05 leaving us with $2, which is available. And how exciting. We finished the two largest rows and we will be moving up uh, and working on $9 and under going forward. And I'm pretty sure that once you get to the smaller figures, it moves a lot faster. So that is exciting and amazing. I would have never done that. I used to spend my coins on um, candy at the petrol station or um, just random things that had no purpose or need. Even those kinder surprises that the kids eat the chocolate and end up throwing the toy away um, 30 seconds later. So uh, now we understand the value of our money and that's the great thing about this system and what it has taught me. And I hope that it helps you and your family too, how it has helped us. So today we will be stuffing our regular income 
which is half of our fortnightly income. We do split our income into two and stuff weekly to better manage our finances so we're not overspending in the first half of the fortnight um, and, um, you know, having money left in the second the second week. So, and this money also has, is a little bit extra because I did sell something on Facebook Marketplace, so I've added that money in here. So this week I've got 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 80, 98, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 9, $905. I hope everyone's been doing well. I do apologize for any background noise. The kids are in school holidays. Uh, it's been chaotic, trying to keep them entertained, but we have been managing. It just might get a little bit noisy. They are safe and okay. Um, but for some reason, Kids need their mum more when mum is busy. That's okay. We, let's hope we can get through this video um, without any interruptions. So as usual, I start with my cash wallet or variable expenses. And this wallet is from Kmart. Uh, it's really inexpensive. I got it for about $10. And the great thing about it is that it has these different compartments where you can separate the, the funds and label it. I'm just going to pause for one second. I apologize for pausing. Um, so I was saying that this cash envelope is from Kmart. It's great because of the compartments. You can easily label it if you need to. And today I am stuffing 230 into our groceries I've upped it $30 because of school holidays and the kids are always hungry. So we've got 51, 52, 20, 30 going into groceries. And then we have 50 going into petrol. We stay local usually, so $50 is usually enough. And that's it for the wallet. I did allocate $20 for personal spending, but I'm going to put that to the side for now because <clears throat> I've decided to do something else with that in the very last minute. Okay, now we'll move into our blue binder, which is our long-term sinking funds and savings. And here we are starting with our emergency fund. My goal is to reach $1,000 in cash um, and then <clears throat> keep that in the binder and then work on saving, um, building up on our savings. So it has 850. I'm adding 150 to be able to fully fund this. And I will go ahead and fill these trackers off camera <clears throat> so that this video doesn't end up very long. So just to make sure this should now, well, this now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 50, $1,000. And I'm going to just put the fully funded with it. And once I fix up that tracker, after the video, I will place it incorrectly. And from next week, we can start stuffing our savings, which is exciting. So our one month ahead, I have also given it a little bit of a boost this week because of the extra money that I've got. And I'm giving it $50 today. And now it's got 51, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 600, 10, 15, 20, 5, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 685. <clears throat> this really should really be condensed. Um, maybe we'll do that soon, sometime soon. Um, but I used to stuff my one month ahead from my rollover only. 
now I'm actually intending um, savings in that <clears throat> from my paychecks. Extra debt. I've started my debt snowball. I'm adding $20 this week. My snowball amount is $40 a month, but I'm going to try to add as much extra as I can whenever I can so I can get out of that debt sooner. But even if I do stick with that $40 a month only and that's what I can afford, I'll still be happy with that. So that's for extra debt. I am excited to be starting my Build a Buffer Challenge. And I've decided that I want to do it in the green Sharpie color. And today I'm adding 10. Should have started on the left, but that's okay. And we are giving it $10 to kick that one off. I know that this one will be a slow challenge to complete, but anything is better than nothing. The second challenge that I decided to just jump into last minute is the washer and dryer challenge because I really do need a dryer um, here in New South Wales we just had some crazy weather randomly you know it was summer and then it turned cold and rainy and then back to summer so a dryer would really help my family uh, we don't have one it is a want not a need we can manage without it but if we did have one that would make life just that little bit easier. So I'm giving it that $20 that I was supposed to take for my personal spending. And I always see people blow on these so they don't ruin their envelopes. So we will do the same. And then we've got our date night challenge, which I am not starting just yet. So that is that binder complete. And I'll move that to the side. We're moving on to our black binder, which is our <clears throat> yearly or annual sinking funds. And we are starting with our Christmas and getaway. So our this envelope is getting one icon, which is equivalent to $25. And as I have previously mentioned, uh, my family has decided that Christmas of this year will be a getaway instead of gifts. We plan to create memories uh, instead of sharing gifts this year, which I am totally on board for. So I'm giving that $25. And now it's got 50, 70, 90, 110. <clears throat> 130, 150, 60, 70, 85, 95, 200. Oh, wow. It's already got 200 in there for Christmas of this year. We just had Christmas. That is fantastic. And I will add more to it when I can. <clears throat> but for the time being, my goal is to add a minimum of $25 per week. And then we've got gifts and events, which I am adding 22. So now that has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20. And I do have a small event coming up this week, which I will need to take some money out of this envelope. Special occasions is getting its usual $10. And now that's got 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30. 30 130 this is just by adding ten dollars a week which is fantastic and if i do get some extra money as well i might add some extra to that now our baby milestones which is for each of my children b is for baby and then number one represents the what child number it is and i'm giving it ten dollars to each of them this week um, and so they will all have the same, which is 10, 20, 30, 40. So I'll just go ahead and add $10 into the each. With this system, I have learned that <clears throat> you have to actually live the event or the situation to know what um, sinking funds or envelopes you might need, where you are over budgeting, where you are under budgeting. And so 
you know, this week we did have a small incident um, which kept me out of the house and I could not prepare dinner and no one else was able to do it. So we had to get takeaway. And if you've been watching my videos, you will know that we don't have a takeaway fund. So I'm thinking of creating some kind of an envelope or maybe beefing up um, or adding extra to one of the existing envelopes to cover things like that. So it is a trial and error when it comes to this system and you will only know once you've tried. In our brown binder here, we've got our short-term sinking funds and we are starting with car maintenance uh, because this is um, a priority and this will cover our registration as well as any car maintenance or service that needs to be done. I've recently had a service and some repairs done on my car and now I'm saving for the registration which is due in the end of March I believe. So it's now got 1, 2, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, $700 in my car envelope which is great. We are almost at our uh, registration amount and then we will continue to stuff for car maintenance and rego for the following year. PO box, I decided to just go ahead and fully fund this this week and I'm adding the $10 and now it's got 51, 50, 70, 80, 95, $200. I will add this fully funded with it and I will complete the tracker later on, updating that information and going forward, I will Try to continue to add a little bit in this envelope, saving for the following year's PO box bill. Um, yeah, so that's exciting. I know it's just a small, uh, maybe, a, you know, a small goal achieved. But for me, it feels great to even have any goal or any kind of money for any of these funds because I never used to have anything like this saved um, and I used to just pay a bill once it came in and, and struggle for the rest of the month. <laughs> Back to school. I'm just going to take a second to thank the New South Wales government for those back-to-school vouchers. They were great. We used them this week. Um, we purchased some school supplies, stationery. Some places you need to use it online. You can't actually use it in the shop. Um, and some places you can use it in the actual shop. Um, we were able to get a lot of our school things. We still have, uh, we still need some uniform items or pieces and um, a little bit of technology items. But overall, it has been a great help. And you can see that we only used $500 from our $2,000 um, savings. I am going to stuff $20 today to continue to build on it I don't want it to get to zero and then whatever is remains in here after we are finished our shopping we will roll it over for back to school 2024 which is such a great feeling so now we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine one thousand one two three four five fifty seventy one thousand five hundred and seventy once we are finished our shopping for this year's back to school if it is $1,000 or more, we will put a placeholder and then deposit that money in the bank. So that is so exciting. And if you don't already have those vouchers, go ahead and apply for them on the New South Wales service app. Um, if you live in New South Wales, they, they are truly a great help and we feel really blessed and we are grateful for them. So that was something great this week that happened. Fun and holidays. We went to watch Avatar. We didn't realise that it was a, I think, four-hour-long movie. The kids got tired just over halfway through, so we weren't able to finish the movie, which is okay as long as the kids uh, believe they had a good time. I would have liked to finish it, but that's okay. And so we're going to be adding 50 today, which I've already put it in there, and now it's got 51, 52, 50, 75, 85, 285 in this envelope. Um and we plan to go and do another activity this week. So we have been 
in and out of this envelope recently a lot school expenses i'm gonna add ten dollars to get it started for this school year and moving on to self-care i'm adding thirty dollars this week so that's a 20 and that is a 10 and i apologize if i am moving really quickly i want to finish the filming before the kids um start making noise all over again so we've got 20 40 60 80 95 100 in self-care which is a good amount clothes i took out 30 dollars from here for alterations i'm not sure if you would class that as clothes or miscellaneous i did take it out from the clothes envelope because i didn't have much in the miscellaneous um but again, that's what I mean with this system. It's a trial and error and you have to actually live the event. So now I know that I need to consider alterations when I'm buying, when it's uniforms time or when there's an event that we have and we, we've purchased some new clothes, we need to sometimes take into account um, alterations. So we've got 50, 70, 90, 110, 20, 30, 130 in clothes now. And this is for a family of seven. Household is getting $20, so now it's got 20 40 And I really need to build this envelope up because I do have a small repair that I need to, to do in the house um, that might cost about $200, so I'm waiting to have some extra money and then build this envelope up so I can make that repair. Medical and dental. I need I am adding fifty dollars. I have a couple of appointments this month, so now it's got fifty one, fifty, seventy, ninety, two ten, two thirty, two fifty. We don't have health insurance. We do rely on Medicare rebates and we pay the difference um, when it comes to specialist appointments and things like that. I'm not in the position to have health insurance at the moment. It is a little bit pricey for me. Uh, but I do hope that I can have something of that nature in the future. And I'm going to be adding the last $10 to the miscellaneous envelope. And now that's got 10, 20, 30, 5, 40. So $40 now lives in miscellaneous. And I stuff the give envelope every second week. So that's all of our money gone for the week. I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank you all for um, watching to the end uh, and supporting my channel. I hope my journey is helping you if you have any questions for me or any advice that you would like to give me i would really appreciate it um and if you have questions i'm happy to answer i've been really enjoying watching other cash stuffers and seeing you know their plans for 2023 and their new envelope systems and savings challenges um i wish them all the best and you all the best in your financial journey and I hope to see you in my next video. I thank you again and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.